Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Multiple Premier League clubs eyeing extraordinary Arsenal defender. The latest report suggests that Arsenal defender Nuno Tavares is attracting interest from a lot of clubs, especially those in the Premier League. According to Football London, the future of the Arsenal defender is uncertain. The report goes on to say that his interest from a number of teams in the Premier League. The defender went out on loan last season to League One at Marseille. This was following a very inconsistent first campaign at the Gunners. The left back is still only 23 years old, but has to compete with Kieran Tierney as well as star left back Alexander Zinchenko. It's no shock to see the Portuguese defender attract a lot of interest this summer. This is due to the fact that he had a successful loan in France. The extraordinary defender has definitely had his moment and, in France, he showed he can also be an offensive threat. Tavares managed to score six goals in his 39 appearances. Moving to another Premier League club may be a move that benefits all parties. Arsenal could receive some money on the player to help their transfer budget, while Tavares will get more consistent game time. With Tierney and Zinchenko to compete with, it would feel like he is far and down the pecking order at the club. This is emphasized more by the fact that Arsenal are now hoping to be title challengers. There will be a lot of outgoings at the club as Mikel Arteta looks to improve his squad. It really looks like Tavares could be one of them. Agent of fantastic Arsenal player and talks with the three clubs as he seeks move. Arsenal defender Cedric Soares has reportedly decided that he wants to leave the Gunners this summer. According to Team Talk, the Gunners' right back has made the decision after being left out of the United States tour squad. The report claims that Soares' representatives are now actively looking for a new club for their client. Apparently, the Arsenal defenders' agent are in informal discussions with the three top Portuguese clubs. In addition, Several Premier League clubs are reportedly eyeing Soares and Villarreal are also in pursuit. Soares spent the second half of last season on loan at Fulham, where he made eight competitive appearances. Let's face it, Soares' future at Arsenal has been uncertain for a long time now. Last season could have been a great opportunity for the 31-year-old to get back in the fold. Arsenal sold Hector Bayerin, potentially, offering Soares a way back into the team. However, Mikel Arteta opted to use Ben White at right back, which had a devastating knock-on effect on Soares. With the impressive Takahiro Tomiyasu going down the pecking order, this meant Soares edged even further down. This culminated in Arsenal sending him out on loan to Fulham. The Portuguese defender has been a fantastic servant for the Gunners, and Mikel Arteta certainly likes his attitude. However, leaving him out of the United States preseason tour effectively confirms that he is surplus to requirements. 28-year-old Arsenal player's move away has just collapsed. Arsenal winger Nicolas Pepe was linked with a move to Saudi Arabia, but the transfer has reportedly collapsed. The Gunners have had a fantastic window so far. They have brought in Kai Havertz, Urian Tamber and Declan Rice and have sold 30-year-old Granit Xhaka for a very good fee. Now, the focus is on more outgoings and Pepe is one of those who is expected to be pushed out of the door. CBS Sports, however, claim his move to Saudi Arabia has failed to materialize. Arsenal signed Nicolas Pepe for a then club record £72 million in 2019. Pepe's time as a gunner has been underwhelming, to say the least. It hasn't been as awful as some people make it out to be, but he just hasn't lived up to his price tag. Now Pepe is expected to be sold, and a club from Saudi Arabia was reportedly keen to sign him. However, the report claims that the move has collapsed now. Pepe was apparently offered a package that included a 5 million euros net salary in addition to significant bonuses, but an agreement could not be reached. As a result, the unnamed club have moved on to their other targets now.
that really is a shame for all parties involved. A move to Saudi Arabia would have given Pepe a fresh start. Arsenal would have also likely received a decent fee for the Ivorian, but it looks like that transfer is dead now. Edu will now have to find a new home for the 28-year-old, who hasn't returned to preseason yet. He has been working on his fitness with a personal trainer, as per his Instagram stories. It will be interesting to see what Arsenal will do if they don't receive an offer for Pepe in the coming weeks. Superstar player was hoping Arsenal would sign him this summer, says a journalist. Moussa Diaby apparently hoped that Arsenal or Newcastle United would sign him this summer, but he's now set to be on his way to Aston Villa instead. The 24-year-old Frenchman has been one of the best players in the Bundesliga for years. He scored 14 goals and provided 11 assists last term and managed 17 goals and 14 assists in the season before. He is a fantastic player and David Ornstein revealed on The Athletic that he is set to join Aston Villa now. However, Christian Falk has claimed on the daily briefing that he actually hoped for a move to Arsenal or Newcastle. Moussa Diaby has been heavily linked with a move to the Premier League for over a year now, with Arsenal and Newcastle United both reported to have been interested in him. Diaby is now set to join Unai Emery's Aston Villa in the coming days, but Falk claims he actually hoped to sign for either Arsenal or Newcastle in this window. The journalist wrote, Moussa Diaby was always dreaming of the Premier League. He dreamed of playing for a Champions League club. He hoped for Arsenal, he hoped for Newcastle, but both clubs haven't become concrete until now. The negotiations are very close with Aston Villa. We think he won't play Leverkusen's upcoming match against Paderborn on Friday, so he won't get injured. It's going very quick now and I don't think he will join the team when they go to the training camp on Sunday. Aston Villa will pay 55 million euros plus 5 million euros in add-ons. Moussa Diaby is a terrific football player and it's no surprise to us that Arsenal were previously keen to sign him. He can score goals, create chances, and can play anywhere across the front three. He is an exceptional player, and we really think he would have been a solid signing for Arsenal. Arsenal have now made inquiry for £35 million striker. He is already admitted he loves the club. Arsenal have made an inquiry for a 20-year-old Montpellier striker Ali Wahi. That's according to RMC Sport, who say that several clubs are interested in the French forward. The report also says that Chelsea holds serious interest in the France under-21 striker. An offer from Chelsea, which is expected to be made, would be with a view to loaning him out to Strasbourg. Such a move is not set to interest the player at this moment. Arsenal's inquiry comes at an interesting time, given they are currently trying to decide the future of 22-year-old Fuller and Balogun, their striker, who they value at around £50 million, a serious interest from Inter Milan. If Arsenal do make a move for Montpellier's Ali Wahi, it may be dependent on Balogun's departure. Arsenal's striking department is currently looking stacked with the returning Balogun, joining Gabriel Jesus and Eden Ketaya. It seems hard to believe that a move for Wahi would be sanctioned if Arsenal still had all three strikers at the club. Perhaps Wahi could represent a long-term option to develop if the club received the desired fee for Balogun. Balogun is keen to leave the club this summer if he isn't guaranteed first-team football as he doesn't want another loan. Montpellier's president, Laurent Nicolas, has already admitted that Eli Wahi loves Arsenal in an interview last month. He said, His agent talks with four or five big clubs. I know them, but I won't tell you. We know he likes Arsenal a lot. At 20 years old, Wahi has already played 84 League One matches and scored 32 goals in the process. It's unlikely why he would get too many first-team chances initially if he joined, but he could well prove useful to the squad. Arsenal will have a lot of games this season, and last year's injury to Gabriel Jesus proved how three strikers may be needed. You would expect Arsenal's interest to be at a very early stage for now, 
but it will be interesting to see if a deal develops as the window goes on. Arsenal expected to bid for 23-year-old South American playmaker soon. Arsenal have been linked with a move for the Grêmio midfielder Bitello. According to Grêmistas, the talented young midfielder is a target for Arsenal this summer, and they are expected to come forward with an official offer in the coming days. The 23-year-old Brazilian midfielder is a prodigious young talent with a massive future ahead of him, and he could be a solid long-term acquisition for Arsenal. The Gunners have been quite active in the transfer market this summer, and they have already pulled off the signings of Tambor, Havertz and Rice. It seems that their expanding spree is not over yet, and Bitello could be the next player through the door. The talented young midfielder is likely to be tempted to join a big Premier League club like Arsenal, and it remains to be seen whether the Gunners can agree on a fee with the Grêmio. The Brazilian outfit will look to recoup as much as possible for their star midfielder, and the player could cost around 10 million euros. For a club with Arsenal's resources, the asking price should not be a problem, and the transfer could look like a bargain in the long run. Mikel Arteta has done well to nurture talented young players at Arsenal, and the Spanish manager could help Bitello develop and fulfill his potential at the North London club. The Gunners came close to winning the league title last year, and they will look to go all the way this time around. They will be competing in the Champions League as well, and they need a deeper squad. Signings like Vitello could prove to be a useful acquisition for them when they are competing on multiple fronts next season. Arsenal could make move to sign an incredible forward player. Arsenal have been busy this summer in the transfer window and have already confirmed some major transfer deals. Of course, we are still not even at the end of July and there is likely going to be even more business done between now and the end of the window. And according to journalist Ben Jacobs, the Ajax attacking midfielder Mohamed Kudus is a player Arsenal fans should be keeping an eye on. Answering questions from fans on Twitter last night, Jacobs was asked which winger the Gunners might swap for, and in a quick response, Jacobs suggested that Kudus is the player of most interest to Arsenal right now. Of course, the interest in Kudus is not brand new, given reports this week he claimed he was indeed a player the Gunners could move for. However, Jacobs confirming such a rumor gives this one even more legs. Kudus has a start for Ajax and Ghana and has previously been looked at by Manchester United. Indeed, it's claimed Eric Ten Hag is a huge fan of the incredible forward. There is a lot of positives in Arsenal signing a player like Mohamed Kudus. He is a versatile attacking player who can play across multiple positions with equal effectiveness. Kudus has shown with Ajax and Ghana that he has enough about him to make that next step, and Arsenal would indeed be a big next step. Playing second fiddle to Bukayo Saka might not be ideal for Kudus, but this is an Arsenal side on the up, and the Ghanaian might see it as an opportunity to good to turn down. Arsenal planning to sign unbelievable Brazilian, if Thomas Partey leaves, Arsenal may have spent more than £200 million this summer, but they are very much in the hunt for further players. With the window still having over a month to go, there is a lot of room for transfers to continue to happen, and according to The Sun, Aston Villa midfielder Douglas Louise is now back on the radar for Arsenal. Louise was a target for the Gunners a few windows back, but has remained at Villa Park and excelled in doing so. The Sun now claims that both Tottenham and Arsenal are likely to consider a move for Lovis again, with both clubs potentially looking for a new midfielders. For Arsenal, any move for Lovis is likely to come if Party does indeed move on. At the moment, the Ghana star remains at the Emirates, but rumours over a move to Saudi Arabia persist. Lovis, who was lauded by Ian Wright and has been dubbed an unbelievable midfield player, signed for Villa for around £15 million. The Villans then rejected £25 million from Arsenal back in 2022. 
if you were to look at the Premier League and the midfielders around outside of the big six teams, then Douglas Luiz is probably one of the best in terms of direct replacement for Thomas Partey. It's easy to see why Arsenal would want to sign Luiz. He is good with the ball, as we all know, but he has that bit to his game as well, which Arsenal will miss if Partey goes. This is one to watch, for sure. Arsenal will be busy again before the summer ends, and it wouldn't be a surprise to see Louise be the one they try to sign. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.